What's up you guys? So today we're gonna be taking it all the way back. We're gonna be taking it all the way back to kind of like my first video. It just fell. So you guys, I'm gonna be teaching you, you right there, watching this video. I'm gonna be teaching you how to customize your Vans, specifically Vans Old School. These, honestly, might be the best Vans. If you disagree, put it low in the comment section below. I don't know, it's just these are the best. The slip ones, I like them, but I don't know. Then the hot tops, uh, I don't know. These are the best ones in my opinion. So with all that being said, you guys, motion is simple. It's for all my beginners out there that are playing shoes. And I love each and every one of you that are doing like, that are getting into customized shoes. I'm talking to say that first. That's getting into customized shoes. I love each and every one of y'all. Keep sending me DMs to know about what Later that same evening. Talking too much as always. Let's get to the video teaching how to customize your vans. Let's get it. So you guys, we're going to be working on these vans old school. And I'm going to show you exactly how to customize them. So the very, very first step is we gotta take the shoe strings out the shoes. Y'all already know, we gotta do it. So you guys, here are the materials for today's custom. Angela's white, Angela's fire red, Angela's brown, and we got GAT 900. So this is the thing. I know a lot of people wonder, why are you using Angela's leather paint for fabric shoes? So the GAT 900 mixed with the Angela's leather paint essentially makes fabric paint. And this is a way to show y'all that y'all can use Angela's paint on fabric shoes all you need is a fabric medium such as GAC 900 so if you're doing this at home with me you're going to realize that the paint is really thin so don't freak out it's supposed to be like that okay so you're going to really paint very light coats and this is the thing the paint is going to spread out a lot easier than just like regular paint and then after you um you dry off well i said after you dry off after you use your heat gun to dry like your light coats basically you can still feel on there that it's still soft and that's the thing with the fabric medium when you're painting fabric and especially if you're selling these shoes to clients you want to make sure the texture stays the same make sure it stays the same because Also, you guys, I had to get a new blow dryer because the last one broke and I think my mom's going to be really upset with me about it because y'all know I was using her blow dryer, but that's not the point. So right now, what you do, you see me uh, just painting on this fabric using a very smaller, you know, detail brush just to go around the shoe lace holes, you know. So you guys, let me give y'all a hint. We're going for like a cheetah type vibe custom, you know? And let me tell y'all about this brown. This brown took forever for me to make. I didn't get I didn't get this straight from Angelus, no. Cause as you saw earlier, that was a dark brown. And I needed like a very like almost type of mm, caramel type. No, not caramel. <laughs> no, not caramel, but a light brown, right? So I was literally looking this stuff up, like how to make this type of brown. And it was so hard because I'm just like, yo, what is going on? So you guys, for the cheetah design, it gets a little difficult because but this is you have to take a very detailed brush and you kind of have to go around the spots. So I really did a lot of this off camera, as you're going to see. Um, it got a little, I'm not going to lie, it got a little difficult doing it on camera. So as you're going to see right here, I'm about to snap and then it's about to bow. Ooh, all come together. Wow. There we go. <laughs> Them vans it's like a cheetah print, right? And I'm actually gonna pull up the picture right here. 
And this is something simple that I looked at and then I did, you know what I'm saying? And this is something that you can do. All you have to do is make sure you look at the picture, look at the inspiration, and look, then you go from there, then you go from materials, and then you just really map out exactly what you're gonna do, you know what I'm saying, you guys? Cheetah print, you know, this came out pretty good. Um, to be honest, probably just need a, a little bit more practice doing it, but I think this is like my second time doing cheetah print. I did it on another custom before, but this is like my second time doing it on, no, this is my first time doing it on camera, but this is my second time doing it ever, right? So these came out pretty cool, you guys. And with all that being said, uh, we on the road to 500,000 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn post notifications on. And also, we're gonna be uploading a lot of videos this week, you guys. I'm trying to say, I think we got three more videos. We got Jordan Ones, we got Crocs, we got Blazers. I'm on the road to 500,000. I need y'all to help me get there because I really want to get to 500,000 by the end of the year. So all that being said, this is your boy Xavier Kicks. I'm gonna catch y'all next one. Peace.